This video will introduce our recent work, Intentonomy, a dataset and study towards human intent understanding. The goal of traditional vision tasks is to predict a set of stuff and thing categories, like cat or dog, or a brewer blackbird or rusty blackbird. Essentially, these tasks are equivalent to ask what physically exists inside of the images. In this work, we investigate why instead of what. In certain cases, intent can be inferred rather directly from the representative objects and scenes. However, two images with completely different content can represent the same intent. We hypothesize that intent understanding may require reasoning beyond perception level recognition or factual observation. This brings us to the core question we want to explore. Are objects and their image context sufficient for recognizing the intent behind images? In this talk, I'll cover the following three components of this work. I'll first introduce a novel image recognition dataset, which we call Intentonomy. Our proposed dataset contains around 14,000 images, and this slide illustrates our resulting ontology in full with hierarchy information and annotated image examples. The second component of this paper is a systematic investigation on how visual content contributes to the understanding of human intent. To this end, we disentangle the impact of visual content on intent classification by a series of controlled experiments. We modify the training images, train a ResNet 50 with them, and report the macro F1 score on the original validation set. The top half of the plot shows the results of context manipulation, and the bottom half shows object modification results. The colors indicate how much we adjust the image. The first observation we have is that, in general, changing either object or context will decrease the intent recognition performance. But the impact of content properties is different for different classes. Like intent attractive is more sensitive to object manipulation, but not so much to context manipulation. But intents like uh, appreciating architecture, on the other hand, have an opposite trend. The, the results are more robust to object manipulation, yet sensitive to context modulation overall. Lastly, we propose a multimodal framework to in intent recognition. We have identified two challenges for intent classification from previous study. So we propose two different modules to address these issues. We first introduce a localization loss that forces network to depend more on the region of interest for certain classes. Comparing to the, using the visual feature alone, adding this localization loss improves the macro F1 score by around 5%. We can see that the localization loss helps the model to focus on the correct region, especially when the image is scattered with multiple objects. We also found that sometimes visual information alone is not sufficient for predicting certain classes. To compensate, we we'll propose to use language information as a complementary clue. We observe that combining both modalities offers 5% and 53 relative gain comparing to using the unimodal approaches. We hope that this paper will facilitate future research to better understand the cognitive aspects of images.